for Windows 10 installs, it is necessary to have Windows manage your printer. This is for printer support in KKSoft 10 applications. This is not necessary in any of the other Windows operating systems, but in Windows 10, after the October 2019 upgrade, Windows 10 will not allow you to change print and select printers inside any of these applications. Now, here's where the problem that was caused by Windows upgrade in October 2019. You see, if you try to change the printers in here, uh, and I change to some other printer, it won't select it. It doesn't matter. Windows has disabled this uh, part of these applications. So this is another one of the problems that Windows has caused, but this was caused last October 2019. So what you need to do is have Windows select it for you and manage it, and it will use the printer you last used before opening any of these applications. So here's how we do it. There's two ways. The easiest is just click here on the search button and type in printer setup. and click on printers and scanners. It will take you directly into the setup for printers and scanners, and you drop down here below all your installed scanners, and right here, make sure that it's checked off that let Windows manage my default printer. Make sure that is blue and checked. Okay, I'll show you another way of coming in here, and that is to go to the start button, go to settings, go to devices, scanners and printers and then again you come to the bottom and make sure that this is checked now before you run any of these applications or open them you need to have used the printer you want to use in there if you only have one printer and you've always used it you don't have to do this but if you have several printers and you have used uh, any one of those printers you don't know which one then before you open your application here to open notepad so you go to the notepad and you're going to select the printer you want. Go to print. You don't need to have anything in here. Just go to print. Select the printer that you want. Click apply. And then click print. That will send a blank page to that printer. Now it's set up and you can go into any one of the applications that you want. Now you can print from the application to the proper printer. Let's just say I want to print to a PDF file. Then I will come to the notepad. I'll choose print. And I will choose the PDF printer that I desire. Apply. And choose print. Now when I print it, it comes up and tells me where to put it. I'm just going to send it to a test spot here. But this is if I want to print like a name or something to a PDF instead of to the uh, a physical print. So you just hit save here, print it to a PDF file. Now that it's set, I can come in and choose first names. I'm going to let it load. I'm going to come in and choose a name. And it won't matter what art print I do at this point. Uh, so I come over here to the uh, printing screen and you'll see that it has changed it here. Now here's where the pro so if I print it now, it will print it to a PDF. Now here's where the problem that was caused by Windows upgrade in October 2019. You see, if you try to change the printers in here, uh, and I change to some other printer, it won't select it. It doesn't matter. Windows has disabled this uh, part of these applications. So this is another one of the problems that Windows has caused, but this was caused last October 2019. So again, to overcome this, you just use the printer that you want before you open the application. I'll just show you again here. We're gonna come up here. We're gonna choose the print. We're gonna choose the printer that we want. We're gonna apply it. We're gonna print to it. And then we will go back and we will open the application we're wanting to print in. We'll do the product that we want. We're going to come to step three. And you'll see that printer has been now been chosen. So when I print, 
this time it's going to go to the laser jet, not to the PDF file. So the problem is, is that Windows won't let us select it inside of the application itself. So you just have to be sure that before you open the application, you've selected the printer that you want. And then when you go to print, it's going to print to that printer that you used before you open the application.